Hey guys, it's Alana and I am doing the Zelda Universe mailbag for today. So I've got all of your questions loaded up on my handy dandy iPad. Did I just make a Blue's Clues reference? I didn't even watch that show. So I've got my first question here. Do you think Ocarina of Time should get a retelling of the story where Link loses and Ganondorf wins? If so, should Ganondorf be the protagonist? While that would definitely never happen, because they would never change the, uh, the protagonist, we're all too attached to Link, I would love to see Ocarina of Time reworked from a different perspective. I think that would be absolutely amazing and it would add a whole other dynamic to see it from Ganondorf's side. So yes, it should. That would be awesome. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, they may be incorporating multiplayer into the new Zelda game. Do you think they're creating a game that has something related to the Four Swords games, or instead possibly something like Battle Quest for Nintendo Land? So when they said they wanted to rethink the convention of uh, needing to play alone, I immediately thought co-op. Yeah, I'm thinking like Four Swords, but um, perhaps third person perspective for each person and, you know, only two players, maybe one person with the nunchuck and another with the gamepad. Personally, I enjoy the artistic style that Nintendo has used for Zelda. With that being said, do you think it will continue to use the art style or go down the uber realistic path that most other companies pursue for the new Zelda game? I think they'll keep it to the way they are. It's almost renowned for Nintendo as a whole to really keep things a little bit cartoony and it makes the fantasy realm that Zelda is set in, it makes it um, more realistic. With how, how stylized Link's face is, his eyes and his hair, that stuff, really realistic, would sort of just look off. And I think it would be way too much of a change and not many people would welcome it, so I think and I hope that they will stick to the way that it is. I have heard, after reading an IGN article the other day, that apparently the original Wind Waker had two dungeons cut from it due to a lack of time to polish them. The writer then goes on to say that it would be a golden opportunity to add them back to this HD remake. Do you think they will do that? I've got no idea. I think this would be an amazing opportunity to add them back in, and I think that true remakes should have things added back in. They should have extra content in them. However, considering how quickly the game is coming out after they've announced it, I can't imagine they're actually putting a lot of time into adding new stuff in, and I feel like they would have already advertised that. And then we have some comments from YouTube, so we've got questions here, so if you would like to have your question read out next time, just leave a comment below and we will get to it. So this one is from Infinity Masters. Hello ZU Mailbag. Do you ever think that there will be a difficulty selection option in Zelda games, as in easy, normal, hard? And what would the differences be? I don't think that this will ever be a focus in Zelda. Uh, these games are made to be really, really accessible to all different people, and it doesn't really have a combat focus. There's a lot of focus on the puzzles and the exploring the dungeons rather than the combat itself. And difficulty changes usually mean difficulty in enemy waves, or enemy health, or how much damage you take. I think that that would create an extra challenge, but I don't think that that is one of their focuses. Hero of Mask asked, Would you like for Ganon to be in the next Zelda game for Wii U, or new Zelda game for the 3DS, or will it be a whole new villain? I would love to see Ganon return because I think that he is an awesome villain, and you can make Rangy jokes all day, I'm sorry Rangers, but I love Ganon. Um, I've always really, really liked Ganon as a character. I like the way he looks, I like the way he talks, I like his motives, I like everything about Ganon, so I really love to see him return. But with current trends, I can imagine that they will bring out a whole new villain. I mean, this is a whole new platform. The Wii U game is going to be... It's a, it's a new generation of consoles. They're trying to change things, so I wouldn't be surprised if they got rid of Ganon as well. Uh, Glacians asked, Dear ZU, what is your opinion on Link's relationships? Do you think there will ever be a game where we see Link in a relationship? I think that Link doesn't need a relationship to really be a character. I mean, we've got our hero, he doesn't need a partner, he doesn't need, you know, his damsel in distress, but I'm sure I'm not alone in saying that I would love to see him end up with Zelda. And I suppose he sort of was a little bit in Skyward Sword, it was sort of implied that they were together. I would love to see that happen. So thank you for your questions everyone, I hope you enjoyed the mailbag. Leave any questions you have next time in the comments below, and whoever does the next mailbag, which will potentially be me, will be answering them. Thank you for tuning in!